Since when did Outlast suddenly become Alien 3? Hello my geeky guys and gals, welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower, I'm your host Mars Geek. We are getting to battle at uh, Spoopy on, I would do if I could keep my camera up, that would help. So, Misa no go, clue no so where to go, apart from going down. That door's a little bit loose. Still can I go through it though. So, where's a beast? Excuse me, Mr. Whisper. Can I go through there? Because it's locked, that's why. Christophani. Are you jumped down from the windows? That's why there's an earthquake happening. Oh, is this the wall rider coming? Um, yeah, I'd like to know that question as well. Who's there? I freaking heard something. I don't want to be shanked again, that's why I'm just looking around everywhere. Oh well. Maybe it's my weird old mind losing its marbles. And I just can't see it anymore. Oh hell no, this is nice and inviting, isn't it? Where are we? Washroom, water pump, storeroom, it's a bright room. Looks to me like some kind of storage area. Pew. Excuse me? Who the? I know I heard something. I think I'm um, just going to close this. Not that it's going to really help if anything does actually come barreling down there. Wanting to rip me from asunder. Rip, rip me from asunder, I mean. Rip me asunder. Take my spine away from my body! Nice and squishy, is that? Excuse me? Well, that's shocking if I ever saw something. Someone call for help? Hello! Superman coming to help! No, I'm not Superman, I'm Batman! Hi, dude, who are you? Oh, hi! Are you friendly? You're probably not friendly. Fucking, I thought the fucking doorknobs were feet just then. What did this say? Kill us! Burn the building! Worse than death here! Kill us! Kill us! So am I the dude from the first game whereby I actually set fire to the building? I know I'm the fucking whistleblower and whatnot. Wayland Park. But could it have been that dude from... I think you outran Chris Walker for the first time. And you went into um, a kitchen like area. And you saw this dude sat on the table saying, I had to burn it all, I had to burn it all. You know which one I'm on about. And with all these sparks everywhere, something tells me that that is not safe touching. You see, I think it's that transformer. Yeah, there we go. Transformers busted. So it's on the um, fence. Is that the way I came in? I think that's the way I came in. Yeah, that's the way I came in. Right, so let's close that. No, keep it open because it'll act as a guide to me. So that, that's where I've been. So, this must be over here. Is there any batteries on the bench? No, I'm just having a 
quick shifty fag. Well, I've been mean cigarette. Sorry. That's British slang for cigarette is a fat. Oh, you got a battery. Thank you. So any Americans that's watching this right now, as I was saying, the British slang for a cigarette is a fag. And yet I know the American term for that exact same word, and I don't mean that. So I was just looking for a shifty guy sat on a bench smoking a cigaretto. Okay, we're cool now, bruh. We're cool? Yeah? Sweet. Cool. Let's crack on. Yes, this is... Excuse me. Oh, dude! Well, oh! Okay. As, yeah, 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 whatever. Right, yeah, okay, uh -huh. Shocker, I know. Whoa, hi! Bye! I am not a fucking dad. The fucking guy's jerking off to corpses. Seriously? Who would do that? I think I'm gonna keep you locked in there. Fucking freakazoid. Good grief! Red Barrels team, guys. Seriously, you really know how to fucking lays this shit down, don't you? Okay, Giggles McFarland. Oh, there's two on me. Okay, right, down, down, down. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as... Oh, because of the previous part. I didn't read it. Okay. Somebody looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum. Writing instructions on the wall. Talking about God. Tells me not to be afraid. However, I was ever a part of this inhumane, bullshit, greed-driven, moral genocide. The monsters murk off ripped from tortured minds. The lengths their jack-booted business school worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if you if some small minded interventionist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. She's a guy in a suit that rips the um radio mic for me. Santony and Avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. No, there's no pain he doesn't deserve. There's no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. The power is still on. Electricidad. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controlled some s small part of Mount Massive. But nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that not for long. You are always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down, to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule the place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. Do I need to shut it down again? Well, that's not a hint if I've ever saw one. Is there another battery on here? I think I'm going to change the battery just in case. Because if Giggles McFreak Face is the one that's going to be chasing me, no, he's the one that's going to be is, uh, turn the electricity back on. So it's going to be another chase, me thinks. Hello? Hello Hans Jerkov? You still in there? Oh. Okay, so did he drag the corpse out at the same time he was choking the one-eyed worm? I don't really want to look in there, but he's gone. He's gone, so for one, so. Okay. 
The music's piping up and I cannot see a ding dong dally dong dongle thing. Okay, let's do this shit. Whoa! Ow! Fucking a hole, bum hole. Time to get out of here. Yeah, just open the. He's open the freaking door and bash it down. Okay, he's a smart one. Uh, let's see. That's I saw a door there. So Misa thinks this is it. Shit. Ah crap. No 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 no. Ow, bitch. Oh, you're freaky. Ow! Close it! Fucking cheapazoid. You better not be fucking running into in here for me. Okay. Which way do I go? That way? Or that way? Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, pick a dack a lick it I do not know the proper mind to this choice. This one. Hello? Okay. Means I went the wrong way. Well, we ain't got no batteries, so. That's a, my footprint. I mean, footstep. Fucking was that my footprint on a fucking metal grate? Yeah. Oh, I know where I am. That's a switch down there. See, the other dude came running through here. So he's gone down there. There's going to be another chase. Ooh, that's pretty. What is that? I don't know. Probably might find out later. Maybe. Oh. Oh no. No. Um. Well. Okay. I don't know where he is. He's all over the place, so I'm just gonna go Gonzo. Just casually open the door there while the horror is unfolding all around you, Waylon. Well done. Yeah, oh. Are we back in a dusty, misty place? I hope not, because that fucking thing really wrecked havoc with my sight. Let's just close that. Okay, so there's no mist. You cool there, bruh? Sweet. Some kind of river there. So, where are we in? The, are we in the mountains or something? Or oh, is this like water pro? Could this be water processing where that? Um, maybe. So, do I think I've got to go through there? Uh, okay, no choice now. Ooh. What the fucking hell was that? There better not be a fucking invisible monster in here. I didn't see anything splash down. There's no way. You okay there, dude? And you're screaming for help, but I'm in no fit position for that. Good grievous jeebus. I think I'll just take the other path, if you please. Oh. 
sweet, thank you. Always good to explore. Ah, oh, I don't fucking have any ding dong dilly choice. I have to go that way because that, that's the other part where the fucking freakazoid thumped me one because he saw me doing his dirty deed for. Okay! Did I hear the distinct wail of a wall rider? No, not that one. Freaking hell. It would be so easy, I don't believe it anymore. Getting the truth out, there's no truth, only lies. True love, true lies. True truth? Fucking hell. There is no truth, only lies we've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way for, out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. Damn you. Damn you. Oh, no, wrong film. It's not even a film, it's a game. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. You really think so? I mean, the um, reporter dude had his fingers chopped off by a good old Dr. Buttcrack. You really want to be suffering all that? See the priest burn as well. Oh, fucking hell. What the heck is this shit? Since when did Outlast suddenly become Alien 3? Seriously? I mean, the fucking... All things are all there. Outside looks like some kind of prison yard. Now in some water tower. What the heck, man? Chains. If you want to do anything in a horror, make sure you got chains all over the place. Because the clinking, clacking, cronking, groaning of them will always make sure that you don't know what's happening around the corner next. Freaking hell. Seriously, that is a straight out scene of Alien 3. I'm expecting that bald-headed janitor guy come out saying, All right now, listen up. At 0300 hours, an EEV Mark III model crashed into the seaside and released a terrific organisation. Organism. Orgasm. That kind of shit. I don't know what I'm talking about because that fucking thing is weird. I can't speak properly. See, you can hear it thunking and chunking and dunking and everything. It straight up reminds me of the scene where I was doing Alien Isolation. I think it was um, Last Survivor or Crew Expendable, one of the two DLCs. And you was on the Nostromo. You had to lure the alien somewhere, I think. I think it was Last Survivor, I'm not sure. But you opened it up and... Oh, well, you follow the path, actually, and you open up. Good Wolfie. Fuck, is that the entrance? This is a freaking... Uh, no, it's an asylum, ma massive asylum. So it's not a prison, but we are up in the mountains, look. Oh, boy, so cold. So anyway, yeah, I opened up this big massive door into an open area. And it had all the chains and everything dangling down. And it just reminded me of that scene from Alien Isolation. Um, so okay, so I've got to jump that, have I? Okay. Whee! Got it! Come on, Waylon, get up there. You can do it. The timing's gonna be right. No. Okay, whoa! Fuck, ow! That shit should have killed me. But instead I just got a bashing rib and a punctured lung. Okay. If and you say so. Not doing bad for the con. Oh? Maybe some, some girls we have, we're from 
Who are you two? He sounded like a freaking ghoul then from four. Oh, excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Sorry. I was, tr as I was trying to say before, my feeble human body interrupted me. He growled and grunted like out of um, a ghoul from Fallout 3. Let me change my crappy ass batteries. It's probably only got about 200 mega ohm amperes power thing, whatever ratio it is. Have I got a battery here? What's my battery ratings anyway? So I turn that one off. Yeah, if you can see that. Come on, focus. Maybe if I do it like that, it might. Fo there we go. See that number, twenty-nine thousand mAh. I think that's um, milliampers or something. So two thousand nine hundred is fucking awesome. If we did, Hello. What in creation are you talking about? He just likes to hear himself t t talk. We need a goat. There's reason here. To bear our guilt, our gender, a small piece of flesh between us and the blade. You want to give him to Gluskin. That's the idea. I, I, I don't want to get Gluskin's attention. He'll hurt us. He'll hurt you. <laughs> You'd make a pretty woman. No sense in pulling a mad dog's tail. We feed him a goat. Leave him alone. What the fuck are you two talking about? Oh, there we go, down here, okay. So yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Is 29,000 MAH, whatever it stands for. Freaking awesome, it lasts for ages. So I think the batteries in this one probably only like 200 MAH. Something really pathetic. I've got no clue if I'm actually going the right way or not. Nope, not that way. Ooh, damn footy steps. Okay, never mind. It's, it's too quiet. Far too freaking quiet. Slide through here. Be no. The groom. Excuse me. That was behind me. I... <laughs> Thank you very much. Did I just have my ass feel? Felt even. I just got grope roped. Oh, the freaking hell is stalking me. Whoa! Can he sit me? Fucking hell, okay. You can't see me because is hanging back inside like the harder I try to escape the deeper I get dead men aren't a surprise anymore suicide seems wise suicide seems wise okay got it I mean since these batteries are damn ass crap okay so we've got light down there so I'm gonna change again Give it another 10 seconds and change again. If they, if they catch us, give us okay, now you do that again to me, boy. I'm going to punch you right in the gib gab. Very bad. Very, very bad. Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, now bye. Where did you go? Are you fucking like Harry Houdini's personal assistant? Where did you go? He was talk talking to me through this hole. 
And then he dives through here. Where the fuck did he go? What's that a flashing? Oh, a barrel. Barrel's flashing. How rude! Battery? Nope. Never be too good for something like that, will it? No, no, always be hard. So I guess we're going to go down here. Okay. Ah! Ah! Kill the rat! He's here! Inside the walls! Kill him! No, thank you. Ooh! Document! From Alan Wolfram to F4. Dear Dr. Ford, I didn't say do it all because I can't read properly because that thing fucking shit me up. I conducted another interview with your patient, D Dennis, this afternoon and I have to agree with your suspicions. In the course of a 40 minute interview, I have had wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities, as near as I could tell. Two brothers, their father, and their grandfather. Oh, so the couple I'm hearing talking is one person. I had a suspicion with that female voice because it didn't sound female enough. But I didn't want to say anything in case I was wrong. So this guy, he's, he's got split personality disorder. Either that or schizophrenia. But either way, two guys, uh, two voices, one guy. They seem primarily concerned with some sort of life-threatening flood, though there was little consistency between this event of having already happened or threatening imminent arrival. Damn it. The clarity of his delusion and performative nature of the personality's expression certainly suggests malingering. I admittedly fall in the f Furstenberg camp of categ categorical scepticism of dis- what the fuck? Dissociative personality disorder. But Dennis's claim <laughs> But Dennis's claim seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient, more likely symptoms of gross narcissism and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Continue with shock therapy. Sincerely, Dr. Wolfram. So, yeah. Two voices, one guy. The fuck was that thump? Given that that's the way in, I don't think that's going to be the good way to go just yet. But just like everything else, got clearly no choice. Battery! Oh, so wise to explore first. Okay, I guess we've got to do this thing then. Where is it? Where is it? Not that way. That's good. This some's way? This freaking ass battery, man. Can't hold charge for shit. There's a, a leak pissing down. Okay. Up from sewer. Puts us. You wanna shut him up? You hear things. It's all one guy. Drill a hole in it. Hell I hear. Oh, a lot of humans will be a pile of 
whipped possum. Tiny, pinky, deaf and blind. Go find yourself a possum, Tinny. How would you get it? You cowards and idiots, all you. Can I go that way? Can't go that way. Guess I gotta go for to the psychopath. Nope. Through here. Freaking way do I go? I can go through here. This is really freaking terrifying. Okay. That I think is going to be some kind of escape route. I think that's a way through, but Misa wants to check first. Yep. Yeah. So am I going to go this way now? Okay, there we go. There's a good sign right there, my geeky guys and gals. Bloody footprints. Those bloody footprints are everywhere. There he is! What do oh. you think? Oh, it is! Do. For once we agree. Oh! Fuck it up, no. Huh. I don't know which way. This fucking sounds like Michael Jackson! Uh. Okay. Oh shit! Oh, down there. The groom will have us. Ah. We'll find a way around. We know this ground. No man hunting. Oh, these enemies are smart. He's got a meat cleaver. These enemies are smart. They know how to open doors. Ah, poop nuggets. Oh fuck! Shut up, both of you. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Weak. Give him to the groom. Okay, right. I've got to go back through here. Come on, fella. Come on. Come follow me. Let's go for a little ride. And I ain't gonna bother closing that because I know that these dudes are smart. Aha! There we go. There we go. Did it! I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. Oh shit! Oh fuck! What? What? Ah! Is he coming down here? Is it? That's the sound of the door opening. I think I'm going to run again. Oh, the fucking hell! Jeebus! Oh, hell! Oh, man! I am gonna have to put some kind of picture on there about what's happening. But you re. Oh. Good lord! Now that is definitely not an image for YouTube. Welcome home. Um, not home, and that is not fancy music. What was a no? Uh, a man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Oh dear. 
the kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was, until recently, the most miraculous thing I had seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal minded, tried to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen be, I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things were made just because we could. Yeah. Jeez, Lums. That was horrific! Are you still running around for me, boyo? Good grief in hell. I still feel sick from that. I need a save point, because I know my time's coming to an end now for this part. Yeah? Duh. Oof! Uh. Ooh! You gonna come in? The f Oh! Where? Well, like it's really now or really. You don't have to do that anymore. You could make me whole. I feel that emptiness inside me. Uh, not that one. I gotta go back through. Oh! I see a shadow. He's here. He's here. Which means if he's coming through here, he must have opened up another door to get here. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to see that freaking nasty ass scene again. Now, if he has... Is that the door? Now that's just a box of some kind. He's opened something somewhere. The heck has he gone? He's there. He's there. Just walk on by. Ain't nothing to see here. Okay. 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 I'm gum. I'm gum. I'm gone. I'm just gonna close that. I don't know if that is the right way. Save point! Oh, good grief, yes! Oh, good grief, yes! Ooh! <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go and play a little Happy Little Hells game after that, because that was horrific. Good grief. 
you're not going to get to see my video exactly what it was on there. Oh, good God. So, just bear with me. That was truly horrifying. The notes probably said it better than I ever would, but... Pretty much what was happening there was a man's body was being mutilated to some insane, sadistic and horrific imagining of childbirth. Oh, good grief. The man's sick. I wonder if it was that dude that had just been running around there. The one with a nasty ass smile through the door. Ah. Oh. Anyway. You're going to have to play the game yourself if you want to see what I just saw there. Because I'm not going to say anything more about that. If you do like the video, my geeky guys and gals, hit the like button over there. If you don't, hit the dislike button right next to it. And if you don't dislike, so if you don't like my videos, at least give me the good courtesy of a comment and let me know how I can improve my videos. And if you really do like my content and you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button right next to both. And I'll see you over the next video. Bye-bye. For now. No, it wasn't a robot up there. Is this where... Now, some people can take different scenes in different ways. The first outlast freaked me the fuck out. The things that I could see on there and the things that the inmates and patients were saying. The craziness of it all. And then Soma came along and just... Blue Outlast out the window about what is life and all that. It's good to see it's come back to its roots. Good job, Red Bowels. You freaked me the fuck out yet again. Good job. Fucking leg shaking. Down!